Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for being here with us. Today we're going to look at your 10th grade pathway selection. So you'll notice all kinds of different careers in the photo um, that you're looking at right now. These are your seven different pathway options that you have for 10th grade at Glencliff. If you don't remember, I'm Ms. Baker, your school counselor. We have a couple other people I'm going to introduce you to in a moment who are going to help you through this process but you're going to be selecting your pathway at the same time we're all getting ready for registration to pick your classes for 10th grade. So it's an exciting time. We've got a lot of fun decisions ahead of you and we want to make sure you have all the information you need to make an informed choice. So to help you to make this decision or if you have any questions about what the pathways or academies might look like for next year, you have a question about maybe what's best for you or just want to hear a little bit more, you can speak with Ms. Davis, who's our academy coach. You can speak with me, Ms. Baker, your school counselor. You could speak with Mr. Hamnett, our freshman principal. And I'm going to let Ms. Davis introduce herself so that you can see her face on the screen. Good evening, everyone. I am Ms. Davis um, and I am your academy coach. Mm -hmm. And what that means is I help connect you to real world experiences. So after this year, you'll be in an academy and you'll be in a pathway for three years. Um, and all of those pathways are for dual credit and industry certifications that will help you either A, be ready to go to college or B, be ready to start your career. I'm super excited for this time for you guys and just having this opportunity to share all of this information with you. If you have any questions or concerns about which academy is best for you or which pathway to select, please do not hesitate to reach out. Have a great evening. Awesome. Thanks so much, Ms. Davis. And Mr. Hamnett is going to let us know. Well, one, he's probably going to want to say hello because he misses you all. But second, why it's so important that you take this decision seriously. Mr. Hamnett. Good evening, everybody, um, and thanks for joining us. This is important, and we all know how challenging this year has been. Um, we pride ourselves in our freshman academy as, as having a family concept that, that we are your home away from home, and this year has most definitely been difficult and challenging for all of us. This is an important decision. This guides your career choices, it guides your college choices, and it helps you focus on your academics throughout the year. Um, please select the, 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 the academy that you feel is the best fit for you, not the one that your friends are, are going to select because you might have different interests. Mm -hmm. Choose wisely. We look forward to seeing you and we're always here for you. Thanks so much, Mr. Hamnett. So let's jump in. Again, this is your pathway selection process. So we're going to let you know tonight, one, what all your options are, and then two, give you a preview of what that will look like for you in the next couple weeks as you make your choice. And like Mr. Hamnett said, we want you to take it seriously. It's important because you only get to choose your pathway one time because you have to complete three different CTE classes. So after next year, you can't say, oh, I want to change because you've already started one. So make sure you choose one again that's something you're interested in, that you're excited about, and some skills and things to learn about. Ms. Baker, you may want to explain what a CTE course is for the students. Yes, I will. That's coming up. In grades 10, 11, and 12, along with your regular math, science, history, and English classes, you're going to take a pathway class. These classes are built to give you useful skills for your future career. And for some people, they get into their pathway and that's the class and career choice they want to make for the rest of their life. For others, they're exploring something different and want to gain some skills that they might pick something else for their job or in college afterwards. So again, it's a great way to gain those useful skills. You're going to have a great head start in these careers if that's what you want to continue after high school. You're going to have all kinds of different options. Myself, Mr. Hamnett, Ms. Davis, and Mr. Burdett are here to help you navigate those choices and thinking about college and future career. This is just one part of thinking about what you want to do after high school to help you choose and gain some skills along the way and to build your resume, have some of those real world experiences. 
So when you choose a pathway, you will be taking one of those classes, one per year in 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. You have to have three as graduation requirements. They're called your CTE classes. So CTE stands for Career and Technical Education. So when people talk about pathway and CTE, they're mostly talking about the same thing. GHS offers seven different pathways. So these are the choices you're gonna have to select between. You have culinary arts, therapeutic services, digital art and design, entrepreneurship, animal and plant biotechnology, technology, and automotive maintenance and light repair. And all of these pathways fall under an academy. We have three academies at Glencliff, which are the Academy of Health and Hospitality, the Ford Academy of Business and Innovation, and the Academy of Environmental and Urban Planning. So for today, I really just want you to focus on which of the seven pathways that you are most interested in. But just as a preview, know that that will belong to an academy, which will tell you who your new principal, your new counselor, and new teachers and deans will be based on which academy you're in. So we're gonna go through each one of your seven choices so you have a good idea of what your options are. Your first option is culinary arts. If you hear students talking about this class, they might be referring to it also as cooking. Some of the skills you will develop by taking this pathway are working in the kitchen, using the kitchen tools and equipment, cooking basic recipes. Our students have competed in cooking competitions at the school with judges and even some competitions outside of the school. They've run restaurants and served food to faculty. It's a really awesome skill to learn whether or not you want to become a chef one day or whether you just wanna be able to cook really nice meals for yourself. So some of the careers associated with this pathway might be a chef, a caterer, a restaurant owner or manager, a line cook. And you can see that the three classes you'll take in 10th, 11th and 12th grade are indicated on this slide as well in case you're wanting to know what that progression would look like. Your second choice is therapeutic services. You may also hear this referred to as medical. Some of the skills you'll develop are identifying patient health and treat patient illness or injury. You can see the students in this photo are learning how to draw blood. Mm -hmm. And that would be an important skill mm -hmm. in any of the careers that are listed here, such as medical lab assistant, radiology or x-ray technician, a nurse, or starting to think about being a doctor. A lot of students who are also thinking about physical therapy um, or any other careers related to sports or movement are often interested in this pathway. Um, the CTE classes you will take are listed below with health science, anatomy, and physiology where you learn about the parts of the body and their function. So again, this is helpful for you whether it's something that it's a future career you're interested in or whether you just want to learn more about your own body and health. Our next pathway is animal and plant biotechnology. It's also known as animal and plant science. So some of you in ninth grade are taking agri-science right now. So some of these images might be familiar to you if you're in that class. And agri-science is a good head start on taking this pathway. So if you really enjoyed agri-science, this could be a good choice for you. So some of the skills you will learn in this pathway are animal care, farming and gardening, and conservation. So you can use those skills to go into potential careers like being a veterinarian, a landscape designer, a park ranger, biologist, or a zookeeper. Um, if those are not careers you end up wanting to use, it is always helpful to know and think about uh, the world around you and um, be more knowledgeable about maybe farming and gardening and the foods that you might eat or how to grow them yourself if you choose to do that. Our next pathway is automotive maintenance and light repair. So if you see in the photos, this is the car shop that is at Glencliff. This is a part of our school 
And you can see Mr. Molstadt and some of the students in this pathway working on cars while taking classes, which is pretty awesome. They work on students and faculty cars to get that real world experience. Some of the skills you'll learn are car services, electrical work. Um, you'll do a career maybe such as a car technician, a mechanic, a repair shop owner. And again, if this is not something that you feel like you want to do forever, it is something that is could be a really great skill to be able to work on your own car and fix your own car when it needs work because everybody's cars need, need their oil change and fix. And if you can do it yourself, that's a great skill to have. Our next pathway is technology. This is also known as robotics. Some of the skills you will develop um, would be within electronics, engineering, uh, other technology skills. As you can see in the picture, um, in the top photo, students are making their CO2 cars for, um, for racing in the hallway, which is a big competition and fun day at Glencliff. They're also learning skills such as engineering and design and what makes an effective model. So that would be some of the skills you learn in that class below. You can also see them working on an electrical circuit to apply to the technological aspect of that design and engineering. Some of the potential careers you might be interested in are as an engineer, a robot designer, an electrician, or working within architecture. Our next pathway is digital art and design. You can see the students in these photos working in our Mac lab. So these computers are specifically in this school for students who are in this pathway. They need access to these computer programs such as Adobe and Photoshop and learning how to make these graphic designs on the computers. So some of the potential um, careers from this pathway are a graphic designer, filmmaker, animator, photographer, but with as much as social media and media influence our lives currently, the skills you'll develop, such as graphic design, animation, and photography, are skills that can be translated into any career. Because in almost any job you have moving forward, you're going to need to have some basic knowledge of these skills um, to work within your job as, a, as an asset to your team. Our next pathway is entrepreneurship. This is also referred to at Glencliff as business. In the photos, you can see students collaborating together on their business plan, and then you can see the marketing element in the bottom photo once they've already got their product and are marketing it um, to try to make a profit. So students create and run actual businesses at Glencliff while they're in this program. Some of the skills you develop are leadership, marketing, management, some potential careers associated with this pathway are being a business owner, sales, advertising and promotions. And a lot of students I talk to say that they already have their own business or their family already has their own business. So this is a really great choice for people where that's the case and they're interested in taking over that business. Because um, then you can learn some other skills that might help you um, inform some of your choices and decisions with something you're already doing. Okay, so those are our seven choices. I want you to take the rest of this week to think about which one seems best for you. And like Mr. Hamnett said, think about what's best for you because when you go to work after you graduate, when you go to college, that's an individual choice. And you wanna make sure that you have prepared yourself for something that you want. Not what your friends want because they hopefully want to do something different and will be making their own choices. Um, so take this seriously for what you want, because once you make that choice, it is final. During the pathway selection, you're going to need to give us your top three choices. So the first one you're going to fill in is your first choice. The second is your second choice. And then the third is if you don't get either one of the first two, what is your third choice? And they must be three different pathways that you list. Our goal is for everyone to get their top choice. However, our pathway classes have limits, so you might not get the top selection. For that reason, we need you to give us your top three. Now, some people would like to think of like, oh, I'm only going to fill in one because I only have one that I want. 
If you don't fill in all three choices, or if you put the same one three times, unfortunately, I have to delete your request, and you will move to the back of the line for who gets to choose. That's so that this is a fair process for everyone, and everyone has the same chance of getting their top choice. So that's why I need you to take it seriously and give me three different choices on this form, okay? So this is what the form will look like when you are able to access it. First, you're gonna put your first name and then your last name or last names. If you have multiple, please put all last names that you have in Infinite Campus. And then your student ID number. And that's the number that you will see that starts 190 and you'll fill that in for number three. Next, you're gonna select your PLT teacher. And then, like I said at the beginning, you're gonna answer this question three times. So for number five, I'm gonna put my first choice. So this is what I would really hope that I want when I register for classes for next year. Question six must be different than question five. Your second choice for your pathway and then finally, question seven, your third choice. It is our goal that, again, that everybody gets their top choice or their second choice. We usually don't have to go to the third choice so long as you complete the form. You are much more likely to get the option that is your first choice if you follow this process and complete the form. And ask us any questions or let us know if you're having any difficulties doing so. We wanna thank you for being here with us today. I'm going to hand this over to someone who many of you are familiar with from eighth grade, Mr. Burdett. Thank you, Ms. Baker. Um, it's a uh, great job on that presentation, Ms. Baker. I hope everyone is excited about uh, the pathways that Glencliff High School offers. I have personally uh, worked at Glencliff before in the past. I worked there for about three years. I know a lot of students that are really excited about coming to Glencliff because of their exciting pathways. So I hope that you're also really excited. I mean, uh, how cool is it that we have an automotive class and digital design? It's just so cool. Culinary arts. Glencliff is the best. Um, and, and I just got to say real quick, um, for those that don't know me, <laughs> uh, I'm Mr. Burdett. I work with the Gear Up program. Uh, Gear Up is a federally funded college access program, uh, and it's just one of the things that makes Glencliff even more special because Gear Up is not at every school. Gear Up uh, is at Glencliff. We're following the class of 2024 and the class of 2025 all through high school. We started with you in seventh grade over at Wright Middle School. Um, we're following you all the way through high school with lots of college exploration activities, career planning activities. Uh, I can't wait until we're back in person so we can do some exciting things um, uh, on school grounds and see each other face to face. Um, so um, I wish you all the best of luck in choosing your pathways. Um, before I sign off, I'll just say if you have uh, trouble deciding on a pathway please let me or miss baker know in particular we have access to some tools that that might help you uh, for example one you may have heard of is called u science it's a career assessment tool that's really really awesome um, so yeah just reach out to either one of us if you have any questions thank you all so much for joining in on this presentation and thank you miss baker for letting me chime in thanks everybody <laughs>